unfortunately, we don't pay attention until we have like extreme pain or something is kind of impeding us from walking or, or just enjoying right. our daily activities. But um, so if you could give us a tip of how we can yeah. be more proactive instead of waiting. I think the, the biggest thing arrive. that we both support is you know, not ignoring our feet, making sure that we really they're an active part of our body. You know, we don't just shove our hands into little gloves all day and then try to go about our right? We have them out, we have them working, we're exercising them, moving them, they get a lot of uh, movement in the day, right? So just to think about your feet the same way you put your hands, you know, and um, include them in your in your workout, working out bare feet when you're doing stretches can be very helpful um, so that you're feet on the ground and you're just becoming more aware. Um, also, make sure you're soaking your feet and just time to you know removing those calluses and whatnot can be helpful for those reflexes underneath so that you have more access to them not just let calluses build up um, and become very hard and then you're not actually going to get that stimulation on the foot because you've got all these calluses built up so soaking the feet um, taking care of them that way uh, walking barefoot outside whenever you can um, just to you know it's called earthing so that you connect with the ground, okay. you know, every walking sand or on the ground, that's really helpful for your body. And just, um, you know, socks like yours or making sure your shoes are more of a barefoot style. Um, they don't have a big rise on the bottom, quite flat, and there's a for your toes, um, just to allow them to splay out. Cause you will find over time that some people start off with feet, this wide and over time they realize they relax out and they're a lot wider than they thought they were and that's how they're supposed to be they're supposed to be a really good you know foundation um so you will notice changes in your feet over time if uh you just become more aware of them and just treat them with a little bit more love right right <laughs> yeah yeah i always think like we need to i mean if we if we could get take um care of our feet in the same way that we take care of our face. Exactly, right. It would be amazing, it's, it's, right? It's just as important. It's actually probably important, right? Because your whole body's standing on them. So, and obviously you're committed to that. If you did all that and never had any issues, um, you know, it really pays off dividends, especially as you get older um, and that balance, they lose that flexibility. And a large part of of the feet because they just get so crunched up and stiff and painful and then they get worse over time right because you're not able to use them